Hello and welcome to another episode of Dirty Laundry with me, Jaime, because the Spanish don't use the word, word, name, James. I'm not offended. I'm not offended. I'm not saying I'm offended. But also, I am offended. Hey guys, um, this is the boxer. I have 484 souls. I don't have an explanation though. So everyone's probably pretty sad about that. What is <laughs> love? Um, so I do remember. Oh, the heck. Um, last time it was like, it was, um, it was a case of mistaken identity. Did I do something? I think I did. Right. Did I do it? I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, we go for that then. So I did that. It cursed me like mad curse, yo. Uh, this is just going to save us a bit of trouble and a bit of heartache and all those other things that um, country singers like to sing about. So we're going back for Seath, going for round two, ding ding. It's time for round two, ding ding. Just repeating myself now. And I have just played some of that other series, What I Do Like. And did I get that humanity? I think I did. Yeah, let's just say I did. Do you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, I did. Right. So, we got killed by Seath last time. We were doing okay. I think, uh, from what I can remember, we were doing quite well for, for a good while. And then Seath was all like, no, nope, don't think so. I don't think so. I live here, and this is my house, and you're not welcome. Oh, good, good grief. Well, he took that seriously, uh, and I don't, I don't generally take things seriously myself. So that's why we're not friends. Not you and I. God. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, not you and I. Um, it was me and him. It was me and him. It, we're we're okay, right? God, are we okay? Oh, I hope this is not our first fight, everybody. Not our first fight. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, it's going... No. 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 <laughs> no. So, Seath is already here to say, Bonjour, bien vue, welcome to my cave. Who lives in a cave like this? So we just run away for an undecided amount of time. I was, sorry, I stopped to move my sl sleeve t sleeve O t-shirt. We need to, we want to get him a bit closer to us, and I'm gonna take some advice. I, I, James, I'm gonna take some advice. And I'm going to attack the tail. But not the big tail. One of the smaller tails. Okay. So, right, what happens now is we stay sort of on the periphery of his... Son of a bitch, stop moving your tail while I'm telling my story, you absolute cock. Son of a fucking bitch! I will straight up murder you. As you can see, we we're doing all right, actually. Um, I mean, I thought we'd managed to dodge that. I really did. I was so convinced, uh, but obviously, it didn't happen like that. So, so now that's how much damage we do. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder whether I did actually hit him or not. Oh, the curse is still going up, but we do have more than last time, so I suppose it's not too terrible. 
And then we just, oh, I guess, right, I mean, that's pretty much what we're going to have to do, isn't it? It's just this very, very slow kill. Because he's got so much health. He's got an amount of health that I would consider unfair. Because I do 51 damage, obviously that, <laughs> that is the unfair part. Oh, hello, Seath. What are you up to today? Did you expect this? Yes, sadly you did. Oh, you hit me with your tail as well. Oh, wow, I'm alive. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen, to admit... You know what? It's not defeat yet. What's he going to do? Okay, he's going for that. Maybe that's the way to beat him. Just to totally swing at least two dozen times before fantastically messing something up. Oh, he's going for a big hit. Wow. I mean, that extends so far. I want to keep him over here so that I can run away like that again. Should I need to? Oh, he's... Okay, well... 102 damage, though. I mean, it's, it's basically a like we've won. Oh, do you know what? That was... Okay, 84. 80, 84 is manageable, I suppose. I, I can live with that. And then I can always say, you know, if he does kill me, um, if he does kill me, then I can say, well, okay, that wasn't great, but at, at least... At least I'll have more combustions to actually hit him with. Or, you know, attempt to hit him with. Because there are no guarantees in life, people. Oh, as a parry. I'm going to heal up. I'm just going to be really, really cautious. And heal like a motherfucker. Because I'm not... I'm not willing to, to risk dying to this, I don't think. I mean, I am. You know, I am, but not not in like a really petty way. Jeez Louise, I'm kind of stuck here. I don't, I don't want to fucking be here anymore. I'm not okay with this. Okay, let's regroup. He's just gone... He's going insane. He's attacking like mad. Normally, I don't fight him for this long. I'll just do an attack, you dick. I'm very slowly hurting him. Damn, I'm actually going to run out of Estus Flasks if I don't start playing slightly more cautiously, I think. So, let's... Let's do that. Because the last thing I want to do is to die and be like, well, There's no Estus Flasks left. Where did you have any Estus Flasks, James? Oh no, watch... got to watch for the tail as well, unfortunately. If he didn't have the tail, I think it would be an okay fight. You know, it wouldn't be as terrifying as it can be. But, you know, he's got to have the special moon... you got to have the Moonlight Great Sword. you got to have the Moonlight Great Sword, don't you? you got to have the Moonlight Great Sword. Of course you do. Ah, uh, so this is the way we're going to do it. I mean, this... Would it be possible to get his tail like this? I'm not sure. But I suppose if you are doing terrible damage and you're having a hard time with this fight, like... I... Am... Then this is probably the way to do it, isn't it? Just by being very, 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 very patient. What are you doing up there, arm? So the periphery, like around this very edge near the tails, that's where he has a hard time doing his big crystally attack. He pretty much always... Um, I think he always breathes from uh, left to right, your left to to your right, and uh, not the other way around. Um, so if you want to confuse him by running side to side, you can do that. 
be careful uh, getting too far behind the tail because you'll start to swing him. Start to swing him? Oh, he she got me, like nudged me with it then. I'm going to heal that. I heal that. Be really, really extra cautious. Oh, he's going to sweep. Sweep with that claw. I suppose if you do have a proper weapon, it probably wouldn't be as bad. Because at least you have better range. Rain, reach. Reach is the word I was actually trying to say. Okay, he's going for that. So we'll run all the way around here. We'll be safe for a second or two. Oh, no. Like I said, be careful. Tails. Tails is just... The tails are terrifying. Not tails from, like, Sonic. That wasn't... <laughs> he, she is not terrifying. Not really sure what gender Tails is supposed to be. I'm sure someone knows. If you know, leave a comment. Oh, look at that! So we went... He went the other way this time. I didn't expect that. He's been going the same... Sort of doing the same way pretty much the whole fight. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you, Seath? Don't you? You learn something new. It's probably quite important not to get greedy, I think. <laughs> I think! Do you know what? I would really like to see what does more damage. Oh, hello! So we were doing... 80... <laughs> shit, was it 81? Was it 85? I can't remember. Oh, lightning does more damage. Oh, I could have saved... That was like quite a bit more damage as well. I could have saved myself so much effort. Oh, how foolish I currently feel. Oh, that was... A very strange shot we just got. Uh, alright. Well, there you have it. That is, uh, the wrong weapon. Let's just find the bonfire. Here it is. And we can... I mean, we can level up. I don't, I don't really feel a huge need to level up. But, I mean, what else can we do with all... All the souls? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just not sure. Four, five, five. So, I mean, we could upgrade that. I was like, yeah, I mean, we could do that. We, but we only need one more Twinkling Titanite, so that's hardly going to take anything. And we need one more upgrade to that before we can use the slab. Oh, hello, Artorius. Uh, right, let's just level up then. Um, yeah, fine. Now I know. Oh, right, endurance. I guess. Um, I endurance. Yeah, just f for reasons that are dear, very, very dear to me. Um, I guess we have we have Nito. Uh, we gotta do Nito. Very... Oh, do you know what we do? Do need to do. It's gonna be strange because I did this recently. Um... Right, we need to do this. The... We need to be in the Undead Parish. So what I was very confusedly trying to say is, oh, we need to kill a Hydra. Um, people asked me to do the DLC, and as reluctant as I am, I do like pleasing the people. You are the people. Uh, you people, I enjoy pleasing you. Um, that sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? So we need to kill the Hydra in order to then go and kill the Golem at the beginning of Duke's Archives, and from there, uh, there's something else, isn't there? Probably. Did you drop something? Yes, you did. Um, yeah, so we get the kill the Golem in Duke's Archives, then we get a Pendant, so we can do all this, la -di da Now, killing the Hydra without a shield 
is a bit scary, right? I'm scared, uh, at the very least. You might not be. Uh, like a few, then. Have we killed Havel in this as well? It's going to be so similar to... No, right. Okay. So I guess we'll just try and do that. We'll try and do Havel, and we'll try and also do the Hydra. So that's going to take us uh, some time, probably. Some effort as well. Uh, right, so the bonfire is going to be the first stop. The shield is still there, which means the White Knight... The White Knight? <laughs> to the rescue! Uh, the Black Knight, yeah, it's coming for me. No shield. Scary opponent with no shield. Well, I see. Yeah, no. I guess. He's quite scary still. For having a really... Thank God for that! Thank God! I thought he was going to finish me off, you know. There we go. Right. Oh, thank God for that. I was really becoming quite concerned with my lack of talent. And let's do that. It's a big fall. It's actually much bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be... Like it just like lose ten health, but but never mind. So we right, we're rested up. Uh right, nine Estus flasks isn't great, is it? But it'll do. It'll do can now nah, that's a good question, isn't it? No. Well, never mind. Is that fire or chaos? Did I make a chaos? No, it's fire. I was confusing myself then. Um, right, so we do have to get the... Let's just do Havel first. And then I will think about the Hydra. I don't know how to do it without a shield. This is quite a tough part to do. I, even normally, I, I mean, I suppose, yeah, you arrow a golem at a time, they come over to you, you kill them, that's no problem. And then you have to... But then you've got to run down to the Hydra. Difficult. Starts off difficult. Doesn't get easier. Especially when it starts shooting at you, you're like, oh, please stop shooting at me. And then you got Havel. Havel is like, there, there, there! <laughs> there, there, there! See? You gotta take the risk. You gotta take the risk in order to get the bisque. Um, yeah, that's the rhyme. That's what I'm sticking with. And then Havel is, is quite difficult to parry. you got to do it sort of last minute and it's very um, unintuitive, I suppose. You know, it goes against everything that you want to do. You're like, well, no, I do not want you to hit me in the face, monsieur. <laughs> but, but sometimes you, you got to say... You just gonna say, "Don't hit me in the face," and then everything will probably be okay in the end. So this guy's coming, and he's he's coming the right way. Use the backup again. Do you see the backup is doing a fantastic job? So he's dead. And where's his compadre? Compadre? That is the word, right? I'm not just confusing myself, am I? Oh! Missed with the uppercut. Hit with a straight jab, though. And that spells death. That spells death for our competitor today. No, this spells death. So, the, I mean, the, the attacks, they do get caught of, caught of stuck up on the tree. They do kind of hit the tree a lot, which is why you know, coming down this side is is a slightly safer option. But, as you can see, they are still willing to hit you. I'm going to let him take the hits here. I think he won't shoot at me again. Yeah? Alright, so he's dead. And let's make our way. Let's make our way. 
fucking terrifying. Do you know what? Let's do what I did last time because that actually that worked out okay. I think. So what do we? We waited here, right? And then we ran in because as soon as you get quite low, the attacks will probably go over your head. Oh, and then you're moving slowly, aren't you? So we need to also do that, and I shouldn't have done that. So you're probably looking at this and thinking, James, you crazy motherfucker. How dare you take on the Hydra single-handedly with no shirt on, and I say to that. What do I say? I don't know. I don't know. I've forgotten what I was... I don't even think I had anything planned to say, and then I hit him, so victory is nearly mine. I don't know why he's missing me. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? That's, it's weird. He should have hit me several times already. I'm just going to assume that he's scared of my confidence. He's probably there thinking, why the fuck is there a guy with no visible weapon and no visible shirt, but plenty of visible chest hair, come to attack me? And we may ask ourselves the same question. Ah, uh, but first of all, we got a Hydra to punch in the heads. No, oh, he's still not going for me, okay. Oh, hit it on the way up! On the way up! We got one head left. Gotta be careful. Very careful. Oh no, there's two heads. Oh, that's well, that's uh, that's fight over, isn't it? Oh shit! It's not the fight over. It's not the fight over at all. Look, man, I'm not chasing their head all around here. I'm not chasing their head everywhere. Just come at me, bro. Nope. I ain't playing this game. I will switch out to my crossbow if I have to. I would rather punch you in the head, though. Fucking reach is terrible. I suppose that's a problem when you want to get your arms. Fucking bollocks and shit. I can see, I like how seeing all the stumps reflected in the water. He's going too far out to sea. <laughs> out to sea. Just, just fucking do it, man. Just come at me. Right. I've had enough. I'm switching out to the wrong weapon. Now how how doth one aim with this with this mysterious weapon? Okay. Nailed it! <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Alright. Victory is ours. I guess we should go and do that other thing. It's just, it's kind of weird because obviously we did do this in the other thing. The Brother Bowl. Brother Bowl. Um, but I guess, you know, the story of the cookie crumbles. So, I mean, what was this? Seath. The Scaleless. To give him his full title. The Hydra and also Havel the Rock. This has been a very, very, very productive episode. So, last task for today. I think this episode is getting, getting away from me a bit. It's gone quite long now. I should probably be using Chloranthi here instead of Steel Protection. Oh, but then, you know, you could have said that about the last one as well. Do you know what? He's actually... He has slightly more of a defense than I thought he did. Uh, never mind. Lady. Lady, there you are, flying in the air like some crazy witch without a broomstick. So, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, and she's gone off. She's gone off. Good. Right, uh, guys, that's the end of the episode. Let's see if uh, Cyaxis will work. It will. Fantastic. That's a bow. Goodbye. Have a good day.